All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug. I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2, and today we're continuing our career and hopefully not screwing up the rendering job by losing the first 15 or so minutes of the video. Yeah, that was... I wanted to redo the whole thing, but I didn't have a chance. You know, it was already too late at night. I just couldn't go back over it again. And, oh, you know, that's just how I felt about it was really aggravating but we've gone across on the uh, ferry we're in the last leg of our delivery we will hopefully be able to complete that today that is the aim we are looking for despite the fact it is re uh, raining This exit. Oh, we actually got it around without really getting up on the sidewalk there. This wasn't bad. So, tomorrow, I don't know how well things are going to go, because I have to be up and out the door at like 6.30 in the morning, and I'm not a morning person. I am literally not a morning person. So, yeah. Maybe when I get home, I'll just uh, go to sleep again for a while. Who knows? And tomorrow, uh, my wife goes to the doctors. Um, her foot really isn't healing all that much. Um, it has possibly become infected again. Why all the traffic? Oh. Don't tell me we have this endless traffic glitch again, where the traffic just keeps spawning and spawning and spawning and spawning. This I, I hate when this happens. Because you literally got to get someone to stop for you. And when it gets like this, they won't. Nobody will let you go. Oh, thank God. You know, it would be like that in the real world. That <clears throat> Another truck driver realizes, hey, this guy needs to get out. And that is the one that stops. Oh, come on, frame rate. You've been doing so well. Why are you going to mess with me now? Why are you going to mess with me now? But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, talking about... Um, my wife needing to go to the doctors uh, basically to check her foot for infection to get a another medical opinion other than the um, wound care specialist um, not that I don't trust him or believe him it's just I don't know it just the wound if I'm describe it damn it I saw it coming too late and I tried to fix it and it didn't happen My mind is elsewhere, too, today, so hopefully I don't do that anymore. In uh, this game, this is actually another notorious road here for unending traffic. As you can see.
but um, the wound just you know looks angry and I would like her doctor to look at it oops way too high there but it's okay really you trying to pass me what the hell is this car doing Okay, we're off to a wonderful start today, apparently. Uh-uh. God! So what, I've cost myself $1,600 on this trip? More, because I think I got a speeding ticket? Hey. Let's just say I'm not happy right now. Please don't. Please don't. Please. God. This traffic, man. I tell you. I mean, the, the first two were my fault, but that happens more often than it should. <sighs> Anyways, back to what I was trying to finish because I do this a lot. Um. And, and the other reason will go is because the wound is putting my wife in a lot of pain, obviously. It's really bad. And she doesn't have actual pain medication. So we're hoping that the doctor can give her something to help cope with the pain. So multiple reasons for going tomorrow, you know. Just to get a, the doctor to look at it. Uh, things aren't going splendidly. They're going okay. There's no real, uh, you know, emergencies right now, but eh, there are concerns. So hopefully we can address those tomorrow. This is a funky area to say... Oh, my lord. Two accidents and another speeding ticket. Am I even going to make a profit on this? Am I even going to make a profit on this? Let's see, that was what? 800... 1300 that I've gone through not including before the only thing I can hope for is that my driver starts coming up soon um, I got him focusing on long distance which I needed him focusing on a while back but I didn't check his levels soon enough and he's got all this um, bonus points as it were into um, what was it high value or fragile or just in time it was one of the three I think it may have been the just in time delivery or fragile either way he's got a lot invested in it I'm just really distracted today. And there is no particular reason. I just am. No, I was playing Eve and my Estero uh, got caught finally. And it was my fault. I 
spaced out watching a video on YouTube while running a site, which is something I don't typically do, and I didn't pay attention to the fact that somebody had jumped in and I lost my Estero. Now, not a big deal, but... Well, let me explain why not a big deal, actually. Not a big deal because my Estero fitted might have cost me, you know, say, 120 million, 130 million, maybe. Um, it pay, it's paid for itself a um, couple hundred times over. Easy. Easy couple hundred times over. But, what really made me sad about it is um, I've had it, you know, kind of a give and take here. I've had it for a long time. I've had that Astero for quite a while. And it's just one of those things, it's like disappointment that I lost it, disappointment in myself for making such a uh, simple mistake as it were. Ah, uh, really? That's when I need more speed bumps. Oh, damn. <laughs> I forgot we need fuel. Well, there is a gas station here if I want to go around. And I'm going to have to because there's not another one for a very, very, very long time. Wow. Yeah, I need to stop at this. Well, there's one here, but that's in town. So I'm going to stop there for fuel. Oops! <laughs> Great job, Jay. This run has been an adventure, and it's it's cost me. It's cost me a lot of euros. Uh, almost, well, not almost, all to my own fault. There hasn't been a situation where I couldn't have prevented it. So, yay me. Well, at least I saw that we had to stop for fuel. I mean, technically speaking, according to the fuel gauge, we could actually make it all the way and not have to stop. But I've learned to not rely on the fuel gauge to let me know how far I can go and how far I can't go. You know? The fuel gauge of how far you can go to how much you have left is kind of relative. You know? It says, eh, if you can go this far, but then hills and back to acceleration all that it all changes and I got a fly buzzing around my monitor and it's really fucking annoying And not a whole lot for me to talk about today. That's just how I feel right now. It's just not a lot for me to go over. Not a lot has happened. Not a lot has changed. You know, um, suppose uh, I talk about Christmas gifts. Uh, my father sent me... Uh, 
an electronic gift card to Amazon, which I promptly turned around into um, a couple things for my wife, uh, something for my nephew, and uh, on spur of the moment, because I happened to cross it, uh, something for my brother-in-law, my my wife's actual brother, not my sister's married uh, married in brother-in-law. Um, I can't tell you my wife's because she's in the room, and I wouldn't tell you anyways. But uh, this fly is really starting to aggravate me. All right. This is going to hurt. But I got my uh my nephew uh a ring. It's it's held in in, in like uh a maw of fangs and it's a blue crystallized eye in a silver set maw of fangs or at least what looks to be silver. It's not actually silver. It's either like steel or pewter, one or the other. And my brother-in-law, I came across this ring, and it's a ring of a hand giving a middle finger. And it just fits him so perfectly. I had to get it. Now, the, the, the disappointing part is my wife's gifts actually have a chance to be here by Christmas. But they may not. They can be here as late as... I forget what it said. Uh like the 28th something like that they could be here by the 22nd uh, my nephews and my brother-in-law's gift somewhere between January 1st and January 29th yeah so I let my nephew know that I did get him something but it's not coming until then my brother-in-law doesn't know and he probably won't know until around Christmas because he probably won't be here. Uh, the only thing I'm really disappointed about is I couldn't get... Um, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. I couldn't get my mother-in-law something. And I really, really, really wanted to. So a little disappointed in that. Alright, we don't have too far to go. We have fuel. So my goal for this point in the game, from this point forward, is to not fuck up again. I don't even know if I'm profiting from this run anymore. I'm actually really starting to wonder about my chances at staying ahead alone. Because if I can't stay ahead alone, then what I'm going to have to do is fire my, my driver. I'm going to have to fire him and sell the truck. And take, you know, whatever I can from that. No more speeding tickets, no more accidents, no more distractions, except for this fly. It's almost like the fly in a couple of those mods that I brought you. One uh, was a, um, the American truck, another one I think was uh, a Russian truck or something like that, where they had both put flies into the truck. It's like, why would you put something so distracting into the truck? I don't understand. 
why you would do something like that. We're having a nice little country drive. Should be an interesting return trip because we're pretty much going to have to come back along the same road most likely. We got some corners coming up we need to be careful for. Make sure our trailer doesn't clip anyone. It's beautiful scenery at least. I very much appreciate that. This is a bit of a challenging road, honestly. It's a cool little drive. Be even better if I hadn't like made so many mistakes already. Oh great, the loan came through again. So now we're even under 70,000. Lovely. I would have liked to have kept going straight, honestly, but oh well. Dude, don't you even stop. Ah, tolls. Perfect. Although, honestly, I did see that already. There's a toll bridge or a toll road. out the pocket. How's my driver doing anyways? I haven't seen him for a while. We gotta get him going, man. I feel like such an idiot for not checking his training soon enough. wondering if we see anything special off to the sides, but really cannot. Oh, come on, truck. It's not that bad a hill. Come on.
Oh, here we go. Finally over the hump and going down the other side. Patria. Why did I say Patria? It's Patra. I don't know. I keep drifting to the right for whatever reason. It's really annoying. I saw the speed camera and it was like, full brakes, full brakes. <laughs> yeah, let's let's please not cost me any more money. This this run and indeed this recording thanks to yesterday has been a complete debacle and I'd rather not add to the problem. Why the hell did I pay a $61 toll? And then have to pay another $61 toll on the other side. Why the hell did I just play, pay 120 euros? <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You know what that is? That's, I think that's a de design flaw in, in Truck Sim Map. There shouldn't be a toll booth on that side of the bridge, but you can't help it. Because the only assets that you can put into the game are the assets that are kind of in existence. You know, what, what you can mod in and whatnot. And the toll booths stretch across both sides of the road. There should only be there should only be a toll booth on the entrance side to that bridge on, you know, on both sides. It should only be the entrance. But they had to put it entrance and exit because you only get the toll booth, like I said, that spans across. So because of that, you end up having to pay a toll to get on and get off the bridge. Because you can't get through without paying some kind of toll. It would have been better off if you just didn't put a toll booth there at all. I'll actually... The first part of the run went really pretty decent, except for a few things. Second part of the run, man... Uh, and, and, and then this part is like... I, I, this run needs to end, and we need to get a fresh start with something better. We really do. I mean, even if I level up and get an upgraded engine right now, I can't put it on. I don't have. The, I, I don't want to spend the euros to do it. I've gone through something like forty thousand euros right now in fees and mistakes and whatnot. I'd rather not do it again. I'm just worried that car is going to cut me. Yeah, see? I knew he would. Well, at least we're not turning left. Although, honestly, I think I'd rather. Wow, I just kind of lost all traction. Coming around that corner. To be honest, going left there might have been fun, but I'm kind of glad we're not. Right now, my mind is like kind of full concentration mode, 
158 kilometers to go. I just don't want to screw up again. Because it's not impossible to come across a freaking speed camera sitting on the side of the road next to a farm in countryside, you know? And I'd rather not have to contend with that. And for whatever reason, it's like I'm drifting from one side of the road to the other. It's like I can't keep the truck steady. It's real aggravating. At least we should make it before we need to uh, put our lights on. And that's something I'm really looking forward to. Getting there before dark. That was rather close. A lot closer than I would have liked it to be, to be sure. Whew, come on, truck. I'm in the home stretch now. My eyes are almost like glued to the right hand side of the road looking for cameras. Whoa. Fortunately nothing was coming there would have been bad. Oh great, long, slow climbs. Come on, Volvo! Don't let me down. <sighs> really? I'm tired already. Oh, jeez. And with 80 kilometers to go, you've got to be kidding. I haven't been driving that long. Provided we don't have too much more like that, we should make it okay still. <sighs> oh, just stop yawning. Oh my god, really? I can't believe, I honestly can't believe that we're fatigued already. There's nowhere to rest along here.
Looked like some kind of accident happened there. AI got all jammed up. I think this is turning into one of those situations where when I pull in, I'm not going to back in just to s save those precious few seconds because my bed's already gone red. This, this shouldn't be. I should easily be able to cover this distance. I should easily be able to cover the distance we had left. I need the game to work with me here. I need some downhill. And honestly, it just doesn't look like it's working with me. As we get into more uphill. I am kind of pushing my driving limit here, just to be honest with you. The last thing I need is for this thing to start ticking me fines for not resting in time. I mean, I can literally see the destination at this point. I mean, if it were any way humanly possible, I would just cut right right now and blow through that <laughs> little village on the grass. I know I'm getting tired. Shut the hell up. We are almost there. We have less than 20 kilometers to go. Off me fly. Get off me fly. Come on, light. I need you to not be red. Come on, light. Yeah, I saw that. Honestly, thought I had swung it far enough, but at this point it's it's do or die. I know I'm getting tired. Please don't find me. Just please don't. My drop off spot's like right there. Oh god, really? We're gonna do this? Alright. Can't afford this. I apologize in advance for anyone who may not like what I'm about to do, but I've got no more time for waiting. You guys better just freaking go. Nobody better be turning. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> Screw this.
But you didn't know sidewalks could come in so handy, huh? I feel like a jerk for doing this, really. It's, I've been fined Ooh. enough, and this is ridiculous. I mean, if I didn't get in to those accidents and speeding tickets ahead of time, uh, beforehand rather, I'd be fine. I, I'd be like, okay, 300 euros right now, not a big deal. But I've had so much go out already. This is just ridiculous. And yes, I know, it's all my own fault. Believe me, I know. Damn it, I almost made it before that. Good work, which means the load was damaged. 1%. what I usually do when I'm not playing or when I wasn't playing on camera a while back this is how I used to get around these issues <clears throat> good enough oh stop it I'm sleeping already At least we're up to 78. It's worth something. I want to repair the truck, see what we're going to get, and then I'll end the video. <sighs> oh, 77. Let's check... Um, Let's check our other driver. See how his levels are doing. He's on the road. Uh, tableware. Yeah, fine. Let's just take a look at the freight market. Take the ferry, drop that off there. Uh huh. Oh, I can't zoom. All right, these are all ridiculously. St I mean, they're two thousand dollars less than this one. So what I'm going to do tomorrow as I'm gonna take this run yeah it's only 97 kilometers plus the ferry I'm gonna take this run take it drop it off and then from here pick up another run and roll that all into one video so that will get me back across on to uh, Africa and then from there I'll be able to pick up another uh, load and we'll be able to drive it somewhere because this is ten dollars twelve cents. This is eight eighty seven. You know, a grand total difference of almost well, not quite two dollars. Is 
one dollar and dollar ten something per mile per kilometer. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll drive the 97 kilometers, pick up another run, and then go, uh, go with it. So, really terrible, awful, ugly, bad run today. Really, really, really bad. <laughs> uh, didn't do too well on this one. But hopefully we can put that behind us and pick up on our next run. Or runs, because there will be that one and then we'll do another quick one not quick one but we'll start another one tomorrow but that's going to be me done for this episode folks i hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as um i've had a really really ugly time bringing it to you but i still had fun uh until next time this will be one big bugger signing out i'll see you